my makeup and watching all of you uh, talk about the great Blue Jean Chef items. Now, one item that was not featured during that 11 a.m. hour is what you're seeing right now. It's our four-piece sheet pan dinner set. And we're excited about this because in this pack up, you're going to receive four individual sheet pans. Now, the bottom is the great big sheet pan. Want to do a giant uh, helping of nachos and just invite me over? I'll take care of all of them. Then you're going to get your medium sized sheet pan, great for cakes and brownies and whatnot, and then two small for your side dishes. Now, if you choose, you can do an entire dinner on one set. And I've got gorgeous colors for you. Let's take you shopping here for Ruby Red. I also have you here in the charcoal gray. And then finally on the end, because it's Blue Jean Chef, Denim Blue. All of this happening for you after we sold out of Denim Blue in its March debut. We've got it back in stock today. And joining me is the one, the only, cooking instructor and chef extraordinaire, my dear friend, Meredith Lawrence. How are you, my friend? I'm great. Thanks, David. So nice to see you. Oh, my goodness. You're a sight for my sore eyes. It is so good <laughs> to see you, friend. And, you know, you, you joined me on my coffee talk the other morning. And I, wanted I, to, I want to echo something that we oh, said that day. Because when I first met Meredith, Meredith didn't introduce herself first to me as a chef. She introduced oh. herself first to me as a cooking instructor. Because at your heart, Meredith, that's what you are. You are someone that wants to make home cooks better in the kitchen. It's true, you know, I've worked in my career as a, as a teacher for professional line cooks at a culinary institute, but where I really found, you know, my home was teaching home cooks, because it just makes a world of difference when you can make somebody else's world different by just getting them to be a better cook. And it really comes down to the tools you use and a few techniques, a little bit of knowledge, and then practice. And when you have tools that you like working with that help you, you like doing the cooking more. And when you like cooking more, you do it more often. When you do it more often, you get better, and then People you know like what you happens. more. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's my theory. Hey, Meredith, I love these pans. And I want to ask everyone, all of our foodies right now watching, a very, very honest question. Do your current baking and sheet pans look like you've been dragging them behind your car attached to a rope? I mean, do they look like they fell off the back of a truck? Do they yeah. look burned and stained and beat up? And do they thunder in the oven? This is going to be your chance to replace all of them. Meredith, tell us about your four-piece collection here. Well, it is a system, David, but one of the things I love about this system is that they all work independently as well. So you do get the great big 18 by 13 inch sheet pan. And when I say that, I'm talking about internal measurements, not external measurements. But if you take a look at this big sheet pan, and I'm gonna take what most home cooks have in their, in their kitchen, that's the size. I mean, look at the difference. It's quite significant. But let's, let's be fair, and let's compare it to a professional sheet pan. So this is a professional sheet pan. And if I put this in here, you'll still see the internal measurements of this pan are quite a bit smaller than the internal measurements of mine. Now that may not seem like a lot, but when you're making a sheet pan dinner for four people, you need every inch of space that you can. And then when you wanna make a sheet pan dinner for people and not use just, you wanna compartmentalize. So say you're gonna put your potatoes in first, then you wanna add your uh, chicken. You can go ahead and put it into the nine by 13. You can go ahead and then add your Brussels sprouts to the little nine by six pan and put mm. that in a little bit later. Or you could put your cauliflower. See, I'm, I'm kind to you sometimes. Cauliflower, cauliflower would, would be better. In the little pan, and you can add it to the pan at, yeah, at different times of the cooking. So now, not only can you do that, but you, know, you have something that's runny, it's not gonna run into the other food. So you can compartmentalize, or you can use all the pans by themselves on their own. Pretty well, perfect. Meredith, 700 of these are already gone. And what I love is that we can, now look at this gorgeous oven that you featured earlier, Meredith. Um, I love that oven. This is amazing because now the biggest challenge, I think, for home cooks is getting all the food hot to the table at once.
Yes. So maybe you are cooking things independently of one another, and then you'll put it all in this pan and keep it in right. the oven to keep it nice and warm. Your stuffings here, your glazed carrots, your mm -hmm. um, sautéed green beans, onions, and bacon, because, you know, that's the way God intended it. And so yeah. this is going to work out just fine. Don't miss out on this set because we can help you get rid of your old sheet pans, donate those, and then replace with this gorgeous new set. Now, 900 yeah. of these are gone. I have this for you in the ruby red, but only 4,000 to go around. From ruby red, I'm going to take you to charcoal gray. 2,500 available there. And then finally on the end is our denim blue. Most popular and 2,100 to go around. Um, Meredith, how high an oven can these go into? These can go all the way up to 450 degrees, David. No problem. And, and look how many cookies. You have your KitchenAid stand mixer. You mix up your cookie dough. Then you can cook 20 20 cookies at a time on the big sheet pan. That to me is great. Now, having said that, the reason you can do so much on it is because of the surface area. You do want to make sure you have a standard 30 inch oven. If you have a standard, standard 30 inch oven, then this pan is fine. If you are in a smaller apartment, this pan might not work for you. So do make sure you, you measure your oven 30 inches, but then you can do a whole lot of food at one time. And that's making the most of that surface area of your rack. So, so really, um, you know, it's to me that's worth it. I want to make sure that of my rack, the oven rack, then I had, you know, the most I could do with it. And you also and get this little pamphlet included with some recipes inside. That's this is right. something that Meredith put together for you. So if you want to be able to make her blondies three ways, check it out right here. I happen to have them for you. So you've got all <laughs> kinds of goodies here. I'm guessing this powdered sugar maybe is for the chocolate brownie. Is that correct? Definitely, I would say. Oh, because I know how there you feel about chocolate, Meredith. I do. I feel very strongly about it, David. Yes, you have a very definite opinion about chocolate. Hey, I can tell you now that 1,400 of these are gone. QVC.com and mobile apps are the way to go. Meredith, can we also expect these not to thunder in the oven? Yes, absolutely, David. If you take a look at the size of all the pans, you'll see they've got a rolled edge around the side here. That is what helps prevent that thundering. And it's carbon steel. Carbon steel heats up quickly, heats evenly, and it's very, very durable. It's got three coatings of the nonstick on there. And of course, like we mentioned, it allows you to actually time your meals properly. So if your turkey or your chicken takes longer, it goes in first. Then you can prepare the other ingredients and add them to that pan so easily. And the non-stick surface that is on si in, inside here is so fantastic. It cleans up like a dream. Like, honestly, it's, it's a joy to clean this. You don't even have to cook it. Just make it dirty and just clean it. Just It'll make it dirty and clean it. Now, this is something exactly. that always used to make Meredith nervous when I did this, when I would yes, knock inside cookware. But look at this. Look how strong this is, and it's rolled cookware. So this is designed not to thunder or warp in the oven. And I love exactly. that you can just pick up what you need, bake as you need to, put it back in the system, and then get the whole system into the oven for quick and easy um, oven preparation and meal prep. Now, I need to let uh, you yeah, know if now. you're reheating things. Now, yeah. I was just going to say, we have taken orders for almost 2,000 of these. Ruby red, charcoal gray, and what is most popular again is that denim blue. And also now most limited with 1,600 in the denim blue. Meredith, I'm sorry, I interrupted you. That's okay. That's okay. But doing a whole sheet pan dinner like this, you'd think that a regular sheet pan is big enough for four people, but it's not. You need a big space. You can see here, I've got four chicken thighs. I've got the delicious vegetables I know you're dying for. And of course, the large pan of potatoes, because David, I do know you probably veer more towards the potatoes than these vegetables. Well, I have but said in the past that I don't want to live in a world without potatoes. Well, there you go. <laughs> now you don't have to. You can have a whole bunch of them. It is true and stuff. And I wanted to show also, dessert. Meredith, check this out. Now, I'm going to try to do this without making Ooh. a grand mess. But look at how these nachos, these cheesy, sticky nachos, are pulling away from that nonstick coating. This is truly a home cook's dream when it comes to sheet pans. And you know why I like that, David? Because... When you're finished plating those nachos, you can go right in and make another batch. They're so easy to clean. You don't have to soak that pan to clean the pan to make a second batch of nachos. You just go right in and do it. Mm. What do you have there? Now, well, this is when you want to do something uh, and do variations of a theme. So here's a mac and cheese. But sometimes, you know, the kids are going to want this kind of mac and cheese, right? The very plain mac and cheese. 
The adults maybe want to go for some bacon and uh, peas and tomatoes. And then there might be some adults who don't want bacon because they're vegetarian. So give them the butternut squash and apple mac and cheese. So you can do variations of a theme and bake them all at one time in your oven on here. Just like a compartment. It's like a TV dinner of mac and cheese only. It's like um, a dream. Meredith, I will have one, two, and three. I'll have all three. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All three. I got it. I will do that. So dinner <laughs> rolls, things like that, being able to do fish and chips on the same setup like we've done here. We've got fish and chips going on. We did a beautiful apple slab pie mm. on one of these sheet pans as well. Incredible results. And you're going to love the even heating on these. These are all carbon steel. They're rolled Great. pans. They're designed not to thunder in the oven. And what I mean by that, you're about, I don't know, 20 minutes into cooking time and suddenly you hear in the oven. That's because we all know it, don't we? Yeah, your old pan was not designed to take that heat and it warped inside the oven. This is designed to hold its shape and do its job each and every time. Cleanup will be a breeze on these. Probably the, the largest pan too big to go in your dishwasher, but not a worry because you just put it in the sink with some warm, soapy yeah. water and you're done. Uh, Meredith, now, David, as we I don't wrap know if up can... here, we want to oh, let you sorry. know that we have taken over 3,000 orders for these sheet pans. And let's remind everyone of colors. Now, I have this for you in the ruby red. 3,400 left here. Here's your charcoal gray. 2,000 in the charcoal gray. And finally, the denim blue. But now fewer than 1,000 to go around. Over half gone. Most popular and most limited. Meredith, are you back later today? Or is this, uh, is this it for today? I don't know. You never know. I might be back at 8 o'clock. I don't know. Well, you're waiting to hear. I understand. I All right. Well, then we'll look forward to that. But in the meantime, so good to see you again, my friend. You too, always. Come back and visit us anytime you like. Thank you. All right. Time for 